Okay, in this part, we'll be subtracting polynomials. Because distributive law, as we saw before, we got rid of the bracket. So let me introduce this part here by saying, if we have something like this negative, in front of our bracket, 3x squared plus 3x minus 2. If we apply the distributive law, this is what happens. This is what, what is actually happening here. There is a 1 in front. So let me put that here as to say there is a negative 1 because there is a 1. Okay. And we're going to put whatever is in the bracket inside back again. Okay. The next step now is that each term inside the bracket will be multiplied by the term in, in front of the bracket. So you're going to say negative 1 times 3x squared negative 1 times 3x but you could put a plus in front if you want and then um put a plus like this negative 1 times negative 2 you could put a, put a plus there and put a bracket that that is up to you okay so negative 1 times 3x squared that gives us a negative 3x squared and then here we would end up with negative 3x and here we would end up with positive 2. so in other words if you notice in charcot if there's a negative sign in front, everyone inside will change their sign. Notice that, okay? We just get opposite signs. So that's for it. This suggests that the way to subtract polynomials is to remove parentheses. All right? That is what we will be doing. Change the sign of each term, which we did, of the second polynomial, which is this one here, and combine like terms. So let's try some examples. Let's try some for, for us. If I tell you this, find each difference or find the difference. Consider that you have this. You have 3x minus 4, open close bracket, minus 5x plus 7. Our strategy here is, is that we will change the sign of the terms of the polynomial being subtracted. Which is being subtracted here? This is being subtracted, so we will change their signs, okay? and then drop the parentheses and collect like terms so let's do that when we do the first step this this is what happens we end up with 3x comes from here and the negative 4 there and then this will change signs everyone will change signs so you don't really have to be wasting time multiplying multiplying every time just change their sign to the opposite sign that becomes negative 5x negative 7. okay so the next part is as follows so we have done that. So now we group like terms. So when we are going to grouping like terms, this is what we do. We put the 3x plus the negative 5x, the plus the negative 4, plus the negative 7. This gives us now negative 2x and negative 11. And that's our solution. Okay? So here, if you notice, the steps will start to get shortened because of what you should know by now. Let's go with B. 3x squared minus 4x minus 6. Open close bracket minus 2x squared minus 6x. Okay. According to a rule says that you will change the sign of every term in the second polynomial. So what's the second polynomial? This one here. So let's change the sign and get rid of the bracket. So we end up with 3x squared minus 4x minus 6. Notice that everything from the first polynomial just comes down. The second polynomial just change their signs and that's about it for that one there now combine like terms so we're going to combine like terms so we say now 3x squared plus the negative 2x squared then plus the negative 4x plus the 6x minus the 6. this gives us now looking at this one here 1x squared here Obviously, we get 2x, and then the 6 just remains as 6. But it's best that you write this one here as x squared plus 2x minus 6. The 1 is understood, so you do not have to write the, the 1. Okay? So let's go with our next example. Our next example is as follows. C. Negative t cubed minus 2 t squared minus 1. Open close bracket. Minus negative t cubed minus 2t squared plus 1 okay remember what it says just bring down the first polynomial for your step so we end up with negative t cubed 
minus 2 t squared minus 1. That doesn't change. The second polynomial signs will change. So negative and negative will make it a positive t cubed plus 2 t squared minus 1. Okay? So if there's anything that you see here, we can cancel. We cancel it. If you notice here, we have negative t squared and positive t squared. These two could cancel it right away because they are opposite in value. Negative 2t squared and positive 2t squared, they can cancel out. And so you end up with negative 1 and a negative 1, which will then give us a value of negative 2. And that's our solution for that one there. Okay? So that is how we work that out. Now, let me give you an example of a problem where I may use some words sometimes. If I give you this and I tell you subtract. And here is where some people tend to tend to make mistakes because of the English language. Negative um, subtract three x squared minus two x from two x squared plus four x. Now you have to be careful how you set this up. You need to understand what the problem is actually giving you. Since three x squared minus two x is to be subtracted from two x squared plus four. We will write um, we, we will write three x squared minus two below two x squared plus four in a vertical form. Then we'll get change the signs of the terms of three x squared minus two x and add the columns. So let's see it both ways. This is simply telling you now subtract this from this. This is telling you as if you were to say 2x squared plus 4x open close bracket minus 3x squared minus 2x that's what this is saying okay so let's apply our rule do it right down here oh no right here better so we put 2x squared and we put plus 4x and everyone change sign negative 3x squared change sign here plus 2x this gives us now Combine like terms, 2x squared plus the negative 3x squared plus the 4x plus the 2x. This combined now will give us simply negative 1x squared plus 6x. Because remember it's 4x plus 2x, 6x. And then this gives us just negative x squared plus 6x. The negative one is understood. So you can take out the negative, I mean the, the one from it. If you wanted to do this vertically, then this is what would happen or this is how you would set this up. You would put here 2x squared plus 4x. Subtract 3x squared minus 2x. So we will subtract it. Okay. So when we subtract, this is what then happens. You move one more step. This now becomes 2x squared plus 4x. Plus, change everyone's sign at the bottom, negative 3x squared plus 2x. And so this becomes now plus 6x, negative x squared. So we end up with that as our solution. So that is how we work those problems out. Okay? Um, nothing changes if they have exponents or, or, or so forth. So let's work one where we, um, we have exponents. So consider a problem i tell you like this subtract okay subtract 12a minus 7 from the sum of 6a plus 5 and 4a minus 10 we need to understand what this is telling us this is telling us that we are to subtract 12a minus 7 from the sum of these two terms, of these two polynomials, I mean. So this is the way we're going to write this. So you're going to say 6a plus 5, open close bracket, plus because it's the sum. And then you put big brackets to differentiate that, that you need to add this first. Subtract. And you, you must use brackets because it's not just the 12a that you're subtracting, but the whole polynomial. Work this out. You can spread them out if you want. So I would advise you work with whatever is in the bracket first. So we come down. That gives us 6a plus 4a plus 5 minus 10. Then minus. 
Bracket again. 12a minus 7. Work this out. It gives us 10a minus 5. And then bring this out. Remember, everyone change the sign. Negative 12a plus 7. Okay? So now combine like terms. This gives us 10a plus the negative 12a plus the negative 5 plus the 7. This gives us negative 2a plus 2. And that's our solution for that one there. This is what we were doing a while ago. So this is what we call a subtract polynomials. Okay. So uh, make sure you practice. Look over the video because we will have some interesting um, practice exercises for, on these topics.